Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a possessed eyes effect in Photoshop. So I've gone through this effect before on the actual uh, site as a written walkthrough. And what I have today is a slightly faster method uh, that can be used for creating um, white, dead, glossy or possessed eyes for your horror or fantasy photo manipulations. So here's the one done previously and we'll be following a similar process. This image isn't as sharp as the usual images will work. That's because the actual uh, frame is, um, is a very large crop. So it's not going to be a, as crisp as our usual walkthroughs, but you'll be able to get the concepts and follow through and do this yourself. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you need to do is create a layer group. Um, you can do that quickly by going Command and G. Control if you're on a PC. And that will create um, a layer group, a new layer group. I'm just going to rename that Eyes. Okay, once that's created, uh, make a new layer. And the first step we need to do, and this is similar to the um, Bloodshot Eyes tutorial, is to create uh, a mask based on the shape of the eyes. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to do that with a pen tool. And I'll include uh, the link to the pen tool video, if you're unfamiliar, in the uh, description on surrealpsd.com. But um, I'm going to create a path based on the shape of this eyeball. Like I said before, it's not the sharpest image in the world, but it'll work for this concept. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, go around and get a rough outline of the shape. This isn't going to be absolute precision. So that was one path. I closed that path off and I'm coming here to do the second one. Creating a new path and going around using the pencil. So we'll just uh, complete this one. Won't take too long. I'm using the Alt to turn off the curvature for the next point. Very important tool. You don't always need it, but it's uh, very helpful. Okay, so that's two paths that have been closed off. I'm going to zoom out with Command and Minus. And you can see them there. What we need to do is just... I'm setting the foreground color to white. So I hit D for default and then X to switch to white. I'm going to right click on those paths. I'm going to go Fill Path. Use white, that's fine. Go OK. And then right click and go delete path. Now then, this is the eye mask. And this is what we use as a reference. So I've renamed that. Now we can hide that eye mask. And on this new layer, what we're going to do, so the new layer is active. You're going to hold down Command or Control. And the pointer turns to a little marquee. What you do is you click on the eye mask and this will create a selection that we can work with. So I'm going to hit B for brush. Just make sure that's hardness zero. That's fine. And bring the size up to about the size of the uh, the iris, which is fine. Now then, I'm going to change the brush to an eyedropper tool by holding down Alt. And I'm going to sample a very light tone. And then let go. And to sample that tone, just hold down Alt and then click. And then with that color, I'm going to click a few times over that iris. That's fine. About four or five times. I'm going to do a similar thing over here. Sample a light tone from down the end of the eyeball. And I'm going to click one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. That's fine. Okay, so we've done the rough base. What I'm going to do now is hold down Alt, click again, go to the color picker, and I'm going to bring that shade right up so it's really light. And then with the brush, just come down a couple of sizes, and just one, two, three. So it's very subtle, but it adds a, a bit more shape to the eye. So I'm going to do the same for the uh, other eyeball now, bring that up. One, two, three, four. That's fine. That's that step done. So I'm going to Command and D. And you can see these edges are a little bit jagged. We could sort them out in a minute. So um, we'll name these just for reference. So that's a base layer. 
and then we'll create another one. There's a shortcut for creating new layers, uh, shift command and N and then hit enter. It's a lot faster. Okay. In this one, we're going to create a, a shadow. So I'm just going to rename that one shadow. And again, we hold down command, click the eye mask and on the shadow layer, we want to hit B for brush. Hold down Alt and sample uh, a dark tone. We'll change this layer to multiply and make the brush just a little bit bigger. And we're going to create some shadowing just at the top here because this area, the, um, the, the ridge of the eye and the eyelashes will, will cast shadow over this part. So we'll just do that. Command and D to deselect. Now you'll notice these um, annoying kind of jagged edges where the base layer underneath is showing through. That's very easy to remedy. Uh, hit V for the move tool. And all you have to do is with your shadow layer active is just nudge up one and that completely eradicates it. So that's a, a handy technique. Just going to pull out now and, and see how that looks. And back in again. That's not bad. Gets in there, definitely. Um, with the base layer, if it's if you're working with an image where it's zoomed in and the actual figure isn't massive and the line isn't that clean, you can always get the blur tool. Um, I've got it on 100%. Uh, do it so the blur tool isn't actually making contact and you can very gently soften up those edges just to make them uh, less stark. And that's that one done. Okay, another new layer, shift command and N, hit enter. And this one we're gonna call uh, specular. Specular is a, is a small reflection of light on a shiny object. Okay, for the specular, I'm gonna hit D to change the colors to default, black and white. I'm gonna hit X to switch uh, white to the foreground. And I'm gonna hit U for this shape tool down here. And I'm going to hide the eyes layer group. Oh, the vamp's in there. Take that out. Okay. So just reorganize that. Move the vamp below it. Okay, I'm going to hide the eyes layer group. And I can see that the uh, specular is there at the top right. So I'm going to show that again. Go to the specular layer. And I'm going to uh, hit U for the shape tool. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to hide it and show it once more. I'm just going to create a small circle there in pure white. And then another tiny, tiny, tiny one there. Maybe that too small? I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's just see how that's looking. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Just give that a bit of a move. Okay, I'm going to go Command and J to duplicate that specular. And I'm going to drag it over here, roughly kind of a, a similar place. I'm going to merge that down, go Command and E. So the specular is one layer now. And I'm going to duplicate that one again. Command and J. Go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And this is done from one previously. About 0 0.7 works good for this. Just adds a tiny little bit of a uh, dissipation. Zoom that, um, merge that down, Command and E. So that's uh, back on the layer. And there we go. We have, this is a very quick technique. It's great if you have like many figures in a scene and they're all possessed or they're all vampires. Uh, this is a, a very quick and dirty way for creating white, tactile, glossy eyes. Um, that look quite realistic. Uh, they're, they're not bad at all. So I hope you enjoyed that technique. We're now doing three tutorials a week on SurrealPSD.com. Articles, guides, uh, videos as well. So be sure to bounce over there. And if you want updates, we have a sign-up form on the top right of the website. So I look forward to seeing you over there, guys. I'll see you at the next video.